Hello, I'm perennial duck stamp contestant Rob McBroom, although some of you probably know me better by the phrase, oh uh, yeah, that guy. This marks my 20th consecutive design for the duck stamp, and to mark that milestone, I had been hoping to see the contest in person. But as you know, circumstances changed, and they had to cancel it. But then a plan B came about, where we could make a fun little video. This isn't it. See, that little scooter I rode in on is a superb example of mid-80s space age design. It also has a big drawback because these little 10 inch wheels and road construction filled with uneven pavement and gray aren't a great mix. I think you know where this story is headed. It was a week ago and I was riding home from work. The plan was to do some additional filming later that evening. That is, until fate reared its gravelly head. That's when I bought a ticket to Wipeout City, and I managed to pin myself under the scooter with my foot twisted in an angle that it shouldn't be in. A two hour visit to urgent care and five x-rays showed there were no broken bones. So knock on wood for that. However, I did get some scrapes and bruises and twisted my ankle. Oh, and this stuff got all jacked up too. And with walking so difficult, it meant that any remote natural locations were out of the question, and I couldn't finish the film I had intended. Well, at least not one without any sort of wheelchair ramp. I'm trying to avoid it, but if you see me walking around in this video, that limp is very real. I am injured, so don't expect some sort of Kaiser Soze twist at the end. So, we're on to plan C, which is salvage what you can and hope for the best. I'm actually pretty bummed about what happened with the original video. I put a lot of work into it so far. And I went all out on this thing. I had a full three page script that I had written out. It went through several revisions just to make sure all those jokes about personal protective gear and viruses and Antifa were just right. The visuals were just as important. There was a bevy of props and multiple costumes. Like this tinfoil hat I made for the 5G bit because sometimes it's the low-hanging fruit that's the sweetest. Hey look, there's my officially licensed Devo hazmat suit. So who wasted $55 now, Melissa? Plus it was all filmed down on the banks of the mighty Mississippi. Located right where Minnehaha Creek flows into the river, there's plenty of room for sweeping pan shots and background action. One of the other things was a whole segment devoted to this. It's a buffalo head decoy. Huh? I wasn't sure if I should include it or not. I mean, it was pretty distracting and took you out of the story and had nothing to do with it. So I asked a bunch of friends if I should include it and about 75 to 80 percent of them said, no, why would you do that, Rob? That makes absolutely no sense. People know this is for a duck stamp video. You don't need to include a decoy for that. So uh, I ignored all their advice and I'm doing it anyway. So whether or not you like it, decoy. I mean, for Pete's sake, I made a murder hoarder costume myself. You know how much time that takes? It totally would have been worth it if things had gone as planned. And here's why. Running gag through the whole thing was that while I was going through my monologue, I'm completely unaware that the hornet was off in the background, chasing down passersby and dispatching of them. That is, until she turns her attention to me, and that's when the camera cuts out. When the filming starts up again, I wanted things to be a little bit subtle, but still make it clear that something has gone down. That's why I thought placing the hornet's head and body about 10 feet from each other would do the trick. Meanwhile, I continue on like nothing has happened. I hope to see you next year at Drake University in Des Moines, Iowa. Should be a lot of fun. I mean, really, look at this. There are not a lot of other applications that you can use this costume later on for. I mean, yeah, Halloween, but other than that, what, ruining a funeral maybe? Or some janky mascot for some second-rate off-brand cereal? This head took so much time to make. No kindergarten-level paper mache project here. That's fiberglass and built to stand the test of time. Just like those topical 5G jokes in the script, because those will always feel fresh. 
The one saving grace in salvaging the video was the scene I was lucky to film before the accident. The audio isn't the best and it needs more editing, but basically it's where I reveal that I'm making my next design for 2021's Duck Stamp Contest. I know I'm doing that right now, but before you go, I've got a little treat for you. I'm going to let you in on what my design is for next year's contest. Now, I know I'm not supposed to reveal it ahead of time, but I think it'll be okay. So, it's also probably like looking into the future for you, because I'm pretty sure once you see it, you'll agree that this will be the winning entry for the 2021 Federal Duck Stamp Contest. Come on over, I'll show you. All right, let's get it right here. And I, I guess we could use a, all right.